What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last part, we did all of the Gold Leaf Galaxy. All we got through a whole galaxy in one part. And in this part, uh, we're gonna do the Seaside Galaxy. And uh, yeah, so uh, the first star in Seaside Galaxy. I'm gonna cut to the chase. This isn't as bad as Dusty Dune Galaxy, in my opinion. I've heard a lot of people say this is the worst world in the ga galaxy in the game, and this is going after Gappy, the first star. But uh. Yeah, I was never as bothered by this galaxy. I don't like this galaxy. I will give it that. But there's a couple other galaxies in the game that have basically annoyed me more. And uh, there's we've already done the other one, which is one of them, which is a uh, Dusty Dune galaxy. And on top of that, we've already uh, done one of them is going to be in the next dome. So the next and final dome. So yeah, let's talk Captain Toad. So that's the hooligan that's been causing trouble. Yeah, well, I'll teach him. Anyway, so Guppy is kind of like a shark killer whale thing. It's like, it's like Bruce from Finding Nemo has like a killer whale body. I don't know. It's like, now who do we have here? You have some friend of those penguins. Let's get them clear here, Landwalker. This is mine. Say, you want to back up some gills and make it through eight rings? Anyway, so we have to swim through the eight rings. Now, um, basically, uh, we have to swim through eight rings. So, uh, yeah. And if you can get a shell, I would honestly suggest taking it because Luigi depletes air faster and he still can't spin. So, uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't consider this to be that hard. However, if you fail to do this, Guppy is just going to, it's going to count as a death. So just be careful of that. So, yeah, we're following Guppy. And that's five. This isn't really that hard if you just get one of the shells, regardless of what character you're using. You, you just gotta follow Guppy. I don't think I never considered it's mainly the third star in this world, I think that's what gives this world a bad rep and a much later star, but uh yeah, for some reason this world never really bothered this galaxy never really bothered me much. I don't like it. I'll give it that. It's a it's not it's a very tedious galaxy, but I find Dusty Dune Galaxy more tedious, and another one we're gonna do later more tedious. Anyways, uh, the next, the last ring is why was we gonna avoid Guppy? And that's the last one. He's gonna hand the star. And so let's, let's see what actually let's see what Guppy says. Not bad for a landwalker. Well, I'm a fish in my world. This is the word. She's all yours, buddy. Die! It didn't even affect them. Surf's up again. Thanks a bunch. We have way to go. So, uh, yeah, let's get the star. So uh, yeah, the uh, second we're gonna do the, I think we can do. I think we can knock out this whole galaxy in one video. But uh, I try to see if we can do it. But um, anyway, so the second star in a uh, in a. Uh, oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! See, like galaxy, cosmic comet. This is, in my opinion, the worst of the cosmic Luigi races because uh, it's uh, we're gonna go after. Are, we're essentially going to be doing the underwater Cosmic Luigi race. We have to race Cosmic Luigi underwater. I don't think any of the Cosmic Comets are really that bad. I'd say this is easily the worst of them. And I wouldn't, honestly, I don't think it's really uh, necessary. You can maybe go for the head start. I don't think it's necessary in this race. But uh, we're gonna try to save. Uh, we failed the timing though multiple times now. Yeah, that's three times we failed the timing. Now, now a, th a big thing if you're facing Cosmic Luigi is that you want to go for the rings because Cosmic Luigi goes for all the rings, unlike Cosmic Mario, which who does not go for the rings. So yeah, we're not gonna we're not doing well so far, but um. 
We kind of choked at the beginning, but uh, yeah, we missed the ring. We're not gonna, we're not gonna win this. My Cosmic Luigi race luck has not been good, let's just say. Maybe if we had gotten that ring, we could have won this. But yeah, we have not had good Cosmic Luigi luck. I'll try this one more time, and if I start failing again, if this is a fail montage, I'll just start cutting footage. But uh, yeah, I never really liked this. Sorry, this might be one of the reasons this world has this galaxy has a bad rep. Let's see if we can time it. I used to time this all the time when I was a kid. Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. All right, there we go. We got a head start. We got a nice head start. So um, as long as we get all the rings, we should be able to win this. And we don't bump into walls. Get the bubble so we get more air. Sorry if I go dead silent, but I'm really trying to focus. Ignore that one up. We don't need it. We need the ring. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, thank God. Cosmic Luigi is gone for good. Cosmic Luigi is, uh, will not be missed, let's just say, because this is the last of the Cosmic Luigi missions. So now we can not take out the second star in uh, Seats Like Galaxy proper, so, uh, I think, uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, another one of those, uh, underwater stars, but, uh, I'd say once you beat Cosmic Luigi, I actually don't even think the Cosmic Luigi star is the worst. I think the worst is gonna come much later when we have to start doing the purple coin stars, but, um, the second star is faster than Speeding Penguin. So yeah, we, ins instead of having to go to race Guppy, we have to go race these penguins. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get these shells that become launch stars. Let's actually see what they have to say. Bet you can't beat me. Wanna race? Let's see what the blue turtles say. I'm not much about swimmers. I'll just watch them here if that's okay. I can relate to that. I can barely swim at all. I always liked this toe with the snorkel right here. I always thought it was really cute. I couldn't win the penguin race. I'm more of a slow leisure snorkel in the reef kind of toad. I mean, yeah, that's the you can't really swim fast when you're doing that. If you want to get on one of those penguin races, go talk to the coach. Do what Captain Toad us. Actually, I want to see what Guppy has to say. Here's a little tip for you. If you pass through those underwater rings, you'll speed up. We already learned that in the Cosmic Luigi race, but anyway, so we're gonna talk to this guy. We've got a penguin race starting here soon, one in. All right, this race is on. I love how we gave this penguin two different voices, but uh, again, much like the Cosmic Luigi race, we essentially want to go through the rings. And uh, eventually, um. I probably shouldn't have uh, spun my air right. I probably shouldn't have uh, spun out my air right there. But uh, we're gonna get the get the bubbles and get the rings. There's gonna be rings eventually. But get a shell, and that definitely helps. Really, it helps the Cosmic Luigi race too. But um, eventually we're gonna start. This is definitely rubber band. There's a lot of rubber banding AI in this uh, race also. So uh, basically, uh, if you're in first, they go faster. If you're in last, they go slower. So um. Anyway, so, um, apologize for the dog barking in the background. It's unfortunate for the last part I record, but, um. But anyway, um, I think we should almost be done with this. Uh, now, avoid the, uh, are, are there any rings? Yeah, there are rings, actually. It's the same plot as the uh, Cosmic Luigi race. So, yeah, as long as we can keep our lead, not bumping any walls. Go! We got a hundred and a minute sixteen seconds. A minute sixteen forty-five. Nice. Here's your gold medal, champ.
Anyway, so we're gonna do the, uh... A hungry loom has appeared. We're not gonna tackle that yet. And now we're gonna tackle the, uh, third and final galaxy we can do in, uh, Seaside Galaxy. Actually, wait a minute, there... I forgot. I forgot about a different, completely different star. There's a secret star in, uh... Star 2. And I'll cut till we see it. I'll see you guys in a second. So, we're going back to the Fast and Speed Penguin. TRANSITION! You want to hear something funny? I selected the wrong star. I played this game dozens of times and I selected the wrong star. So if I gave you false information, I apologize. Where we actually want to go is uh, going after Guppy. That's where the actual secret star was. Um, and once again, I chose the wrong star because I realized you have to do star three first. So yeah. I guess that's what happens when you don't practice playthroughs before you do them, so uh, you just go off of memory, but uh... Anyway, we actually have to go to the Silver Stars. Sorry for wasting a minute of your life that you'll never get back, unfortunately. But anyway, we're going to the Silver Stars of the Sea Slide. Very tedious star, because they're spread out all over the place. I've thought about this also, but when we get to the uh, purple coin stars, we're not gonna do them. In, we're not gonna start doing the purple coin stars until uh, until we have all the uh, galaxy. We've got all the galaxies taken care of. I'm just gonna make the, all the purple coin stars one big giant part, and it'll probably be like two hours long. Because uh, yeah, some of them can go on for quite a while. So uh, yeah, I've thought about, I've thought, thought about going ambitious on. So I'll just go like uh. I'll just like uh go to Bowser and like uh have all the purple do all the purple coin stars in one video, one giant recording, and on top of that, uh just do Bowser proper and they'll allow this playthrough to take less parts. Because some purple coin stars you can do in a minute, and some can take like ten minutes. But yeah, that's actually where the Hungry Luma is. I kept trying to look for in the other the other the other missions, which uh, yeah, I guess I'm kind of an idiot for that. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is uh. We're gonna get up that tree. I know where all the star locations are, they're just widely spread out, so... Plus, there's one, there's one area in the galaxy we haven't really explored yet, so that area that looks like a... Piranha plant mouth mixed with a Yoshi egg. Now, I don't think... I have to get that. I don't, I don't honestly think there's a, uh... I honestly don't think there's one of the... I missed it, but I don't think there's one of those silver stars in that chest, though, but, uh, there's something in that chest I know there is, so, uh, I know there's really something in that chest, so I'm just trying to figure out what it is. Yeah, it's just star bits, so it's not really worth taking a hit over. So yeah, we're gonna go towards, uh, yeah, this star is very long-winded. I understand the bad rep this world has, because I, I just find other worlds, other galaxies worse than this. Cause like let's just say this is a very long-winded star. Cause we have to go on the we have to go. It's like the good majority of those uh those uh silver stars on the other side of the galaxy. We haven't even explored that area yet. Cause yeah, they're over here. What does the toe with the snorkel have to say? This, I would take you to the captain one shot. We actually want to go here. Because that, I know for a fact, is one of the, uh... We don't want to take that launch charge just yet. But we actually want to go here. And get the uh, silver star. What is? What does that penguin have to say? What does that penguin have to say? We have to see what that penguin has to say. We don't see him at all in this galaxy. There's all kinds of hubbub and sea slide. What's going on? 
Yeah, we don't want we don't want to take that long start just yet. I think we also have to be B Luigi, so I guess they'll cut it when I get the B suit. Actually, I'm gonna just uh Yeah, we have to be B Luigi, so I'll cut till I have the B suit. Actually, we don't have to cut because we can just take this and uh Yeah, I, I remember this game. I love how I, I usually revisit this game once a year, and sometimes I can't even remember simple things like have, you have to go here to get the B suit. Because you, you can't take that B suit the other way, the other way. so, uh... So we have to take the B suit over here. And then, uh, fly up that tree. We only have four out of five of them. I'm trying to remember where the fifth one is. All right, die. All right. Die again. Die, you twin to the other one. I don't know. I can't. I don't think I can tell one of those from another. But um, anyway, we. Ha I think I'm trying to remember where the fifth one is. But uh, I might have to do some editing to find the fifth one. Anyway, so this is the one area we have not explored yet when we were doing the stars is actually the one area, one place I missed. Because we have to use this cannon and shoot ourselves a toad brigade. Actually, not the toad brigade, but um, kind of over here. And uh, there we go. We have to go all the way back over there for the star. So, um,. There we go. And, uh, I guess what we have to do now is go all the way back. Yeah, this is a very tedious star. It took me, like, took me a total of 10 minutes to do this one star. I guess that's mainly why this world, is, this galaxy has a bad rep. To be fair, like, I think, like, um, Dusty Dune Galaxy took me like 35 minutes of game time, so I wouldn't say this galaxy is as tedious. But either way, um, let's just get our star. And let's fly across because I don't feel like swimming. Swimming's for pussies. I'm actually I'm not gonna say language like that, but um. But anyway, so, uh, what we're gonna do now is, uh, tackle- We're now gonna properly tackle the secret star, and we'll call it a uh, part right there, so, uh... So, uh, what we're gonna do now is, uh, first of all, save our game. And, uh, what we're gonna do is, uh... I guess I'll cut to that, uh, Hungry Loomer if I can aim my fucking Wii Remote at the, uh, purser. There we go. So, anyway, I will see you guys when we're at the, uh, Hungry Loomer. Transition! Anyway, so at the Hungry Loomer, I think we need 30 star bits, so we have 30 star bits, so I, I just have to double check. And, uh, I guess we have to go to this Hungry Luma. Blah, 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 I'm hungry. Blah, 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 I need star bits. Blah, 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 I need 40. So, I'll see you guys when I have 40. I don't even need to cut it all, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I think we have to go through this stupid di Do we have to go through the dialogue again? No, we don't. Anyway, so, this time Green Loom was by far the worst of the bunch, because instead of turning it into a galaxy, just turns into a rehash. We just have to, uh, do the same thing we did all the way back in the fountain.
But get the musical notes. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Well, we have the bees too, so we'll have an advantage this time, but um... Just get the musical notes, get the musical notes, get the musical notes. Let's uh use the bee suit to get across. No, we're not gravi we're not getting gravitational pull. Oh shit. Alrighty, so we'll get our star. And I love how we cannot possibly pull off that, but anyway, uh, so that's gonna cover it for Sea Slide Galaxy, so, uh... Alrighty, so that's gonna cover it for this part of Super Luigi Galaxy. So, uh, next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, we're going to, uh, tackle the final galaxy and, uh, the, uh, engine room. See you guys then.